so what, what has your experience been like so far? It's been absolutely wonderful. It's as though every single detail was thought out and planned and just has come together so beautifully. First in Murano, with those beautiful mountains, we came around the bend as we were approaching Murano, and there's all this mist draped over the top of these very tall mountains. And then we went to Nibio. It, it was incredible. The food was incredible. Thought I felt that the workshops, it's hard to say because I was leading the workshop, but it felt to me as though people moved a great distance in the week in their work. Some had never written before and were able to write. Others had written before were able to write about things they hadn't written about before. There was a real sense of belonging and, and feeling welcomed by the people of Murano and by all the people at El Nibio and at uh, the Albergo. It just felt like you were welcomed home. And I've been in other sections of Italy, but I haven't seen this section of Calabria before, and I think that I would recommend it to everybody in the universe at this point. The mountains were beautiful. Now we're on the Ionian coast, and we're on a patio that looks out on the Ionian Sea, which turns nine million colors. I've never seen so many beautiful colors of blue. I, I don't know how you could have a better place for writing memoir or poetry or fiction. It, it seems to me that these two places have been incredibly um, creative producing. Another question, uh, because uh, most of the participants here are Italian-American or Italian-Canadian. And, and so what do you think the value of the Italian diaspora studies is? to this group that's come over here. I, I think that look it's... look at their roots, I guess. The well, it's, it's they're looking for their roots, but what is interesting about this is you have an Italian-Australian whose family originally came from Colombia. You have uh, Italian-Canadians who are some from Calabria, some from other regions of Italy, but they wanted to come to this because the writing, the creative aspect right. of it, right. gives them an opportunity to explore their personal history. Uh, we had um, a man from Ghana who actually was a wonderful writer, and he came because he interviewed me about five years ago, and he was interested, so right. he came, to, and I thought he wrote wonderful things. Right and felt very connected to the region and the area and the people. So he was very happy. And um, we have very, despite the fact that a lot, there are a lot of Italian Americans, there are also a lot of people who are not Italian Americans who came because they were interested in the idea of exploring this region, which hasn't been so explored by tourists. I just would tell anybody who wants to see a really unspoiled region to come here and look at this and breathe the air and look at the water and look at the mountains because it's amazing. Any final thoughts about... Um, I, uh, I just, I really again want to commend Mar Margarita for the job she's done. This is a, I've run much smaller things than this. It's a huge job to put together this sort of event and it's two weeks long. It involves people from other countries. Um, it involves a lot of arranging and organizing ahead of time. Guest speakers. Uh, guest speakers and just the whole thing is a big complicated uh, process and you have to keep, uh, there are 21 people in the group and you have to keep 21 people happy over two weeks. And anybody who's dealt with groups knows that keeping 21 people happy is not easy and I think Margarita's done an exceptional job in doing that. And I think the University of Calabria is to be connect, commended for um, organizing this program and for changing the direction of it from a more academic program to a more creative program, which I think makes people write about the region. Uh, I know it's showing up in my poems now, and it will show up more as I go home and think about it more and look at the pictures. We've been very fortunate to have Mark Hillinghouse taking all these wonderful photographs of the area, and and I think that those will many of those will appear in the book that they'll publish at the end of the uh, sessions, 
and many of the poems that deal with Calabria will appear in that, and, and also the memoir pieces that are worked on during this period. So I, I, what's to complain? It's absolutely wonderful. I could stay here. I think I may move here. 